Earl Spence is back on the offensive, um, gunning for Danny Garcia fight. Um, let's talk about it. It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with the boxing clinic. Shout out to the LDBC. And we know we back talking about this. You know, Earl Spence is supposed to have a, a fight in his hometown of Dallas uh, or it's in the area um, versus, um, you know, an opponent. First, it was, uh, you know, it's up in the air and then possibly people were saying the number one contender. But they're having a constant poem of fighting another another guy for the number one contender status to Earl Spence. Now, some people speculate it could be Luis Colazo because he's very high in the IBF, and that might be a mandatory shot as well. But, um, Dan, you know, Earl Spence called Danny Garcia out a few times. You know, the most memorable memorable uh, call out was uh, at the Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev rematch in Las Vegas where he called Danny uh, Swift Garcia out. Um, and once again, you know, in the boxing scene article I'm leaving in the description, he called Danny Garcia out, even saying that um, he's willing to uh, shelf a hometown fight, um, you know, to go anywhere, you know, in the world to fight Danny Garcia, basically, really in the United States. He'd go to the Barclays, I'm um, assuming, you know, which is Danny Garcia's pr- primary uh, choice of venue, um, you know, that if it's not in Philly, to, you know, fight this guy. You know, and this guy... You know, as soon as Jeff Horn, you know, Jeff, me so horny, won his title bout. He was one of those guys insinuating that he wanted to fight him, um, you know, throwing his hat in the ring. And we haven't heard shit from, from Danny Garcia on, on the end of Earl Spence. But before, you know, we did hear him say that Earl Spence had to earn his stripes. And that's not a fight that he was interested in to Earl Spence, you know, you know, you know, earn a world title or something else. And now he has a world title. He, uh, you know, expressed, retweeted something and expressed interest in fighting Jeff Horn for a world title and put his name in the hat. But he's been been on the very silent end of things when it comes to talking about fighting Earl Spence Jr. Now, everybody's excuse was, as far as what Earl Spence Jr. was, he's too green. He has to pay, you know, pay his respects, pay his dues in the sport of boxing. And Andre Berto um, did an interview talking about that as well as, the PBC fighters were, uh, you know, alerted that they must fight the best now and no more uh, mismatches and shit like that. And that had to come straight from the investors that invested in PBC down to Al Heyman, down to the fighters. He sent the memo out in that same interview. Um, if you're interested, I'll go find it and uh, send you the link. Let me know. In that same interview, he, he talked about why guys didn't want to fight Andre Berto. He said he's still a young guy. I mean, didn't want to, why guys didn't want to fight Earl Spence. Andre Berto said that... Uh, you know, he got to pay his dues and, pe- you know, people want to see him go through the proper uh, protocol, you know, from, you know, up and comer to prospect to contender to world champion. And, um, you know, he's done that. You know, there's no more excuses. Um, all of a sudden, Keith Thurman injures his elbow. You know, he has the worst time in the injuries. And all of a sudden, he's getting married now. He's not even probably thinking about training. Um, look like he, he gained a little bit of weight since the elbow surgery. I seen him back training. And all of a sudden, he's getting married or about to get married to an Indian woman he only know for eight months. So, like I said, the prospects of him getting, you know, that Keith Thurman fight is far uh, away. I think mid-2018 at the at the, at the the fastest, you know, because Keith Thurman, you know, going to want a tune-up fight. And then it's a possibility that they got to pay Sean Porter to step aside because he's the mandatory to the WBC belt. And then that's that's if he doesn't have any uh, setbacks or other injuries. Remember, he got into the car accident, and they pushed the Sean Porter fight back. That was going to be on my birthday. And they pushed it back, and then, you know, all of a sudden he's getting injured. You know, it's always some bullshit in the game. Um, and Danny Garcia has been silent, you know, since the Jeff Me So Horny thing. And I told you guys, man, once he fought Lucas Matisse, that was uh, gratification. You know, that was just, you know, that was it for him. That was the peak and the pinnacle of his career. Um, like I told guys in the past, you know, he's the dude that has done well with his money, invested his money. His father is, a, you know, a smart guy to make sure they do right with the money. Took his family out of debt, took him out the uh, hood, and he's happy. I don't think he needs to box anymore. I think I don't think he has the hunger of an up-and-coming fighter that he was. He wasn't a high guy. He wasn't highly regarded coming out of the amateur, even though he was one of the best amateurs. I believe he beat uh, Terrence Crawford in the amateurs once, and Crawford beat him once as well or something like that. Well, Angel Garcia, you know, disputes that Crawford even beat them. But, um, you know, you know, he's a guy that, you know, didn't have a big, you know, flashy uh, upbringing. He had to fight all the tough guys from Ashley Theo Payne to Kendall Hall coming up and earned his title. He, he's one of the few, the last of the Mohegans that legitimately earned his title fighting the trenches. And he doesn't have that hunger no more, you know. He don't want to be the best, you know, on, honestly. He's trying to cherry pick his way um, for the last four or five fights other than Keith Thurman. 
to a world title, you know, to other world titles and supremacy, but there's no easy way out. Um, I, I expect not to hear a rebuttal from him or Angel I'm about the Earl Spence fight. Now that Earl Spence is bagging off his stance, I'm moving, you know, the fight outside of Dallas to, you know, fight Danny Garcia to accommodate, you know, PBC, which the fight is supposed to be on regular Fox and make a good fight. But like I said, Danny Garcia ain't cut like that no more. We gone.